Hmm. Oh, yep, I understand that. Hi there. My name is Ben. I'm with Name.com. Let's get your Google Workspace set up. How to set up Google Workspace with Name.com. So you got Google Workspace and want to set it up with the domain. No problem. Just a few steps you got to take before you can start using your new email with that fancy new domain. Before we get into all the details, here's the scrub points for the future you. You're welcome. Hey, friend. Could you bring over those visual aids? Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. To locate your new Google Workspace product, click on My Products in the top right of the window. Scroll down to the Google Workspace section, then click on Manage for your Google Workspace product. Select the domain you would like to use with your Google Workspace. You may either select a domain from within your account using the drop-down or manually enter a domain that is registered outside of name.com and click Next Step. Enter in your personal information and click Next Step. Enter the desired email address and the password you wish to use and click Complete Setup. Let's add the correct MX records to get your email running. The acronyms. <laughs> MX records essentially tell your senders where to send your emails to. So in this case, it's your unique domain name. First it goes to Google servers, then it goes to you. If you're domaining at name.com, a pop-up will appear prompting you to update your DNS records to include Google Workspace. Press OK, then skip merrily on to the next step. Now, if you're domaining with somebody else, no problem. We'd know how it goes, but there'll be a few extra steps. You'll just have to provide these records manually through your name server provider. Here are the MX records for Google Workspace. Head on over to admin.google.com and log into the Google Workspace admin account. You will arrive at the Google Workspace admin panel where you'll log into the admin account you just created. When you're in, accept the terms of service. Make sure reseller access is enabled. If you don't, then billing events like renewals or additional user purchases will fail, and that will be annoying for you. Once that's all squared away, you can verify your domain. The option should be easily available. If it isn't, you can search for Verify Domains and select Manage Domains from the drop. Click the Verify Domain button under the status column, and that will prompt you under the domain verification process. Google is requiring the use of the manual insertion of your records. While it will detect name.com, you will select no. It will then provide you with a drop down to select your name server provider. If name.com is managing your name servers, you will select other from the list and be presented with adding a TXT validation record. Choose your name server provider at any time. You'll be provided with a DNS record. Oh, acronyms again? Which means domain name system. It's like the phone book of the internet or the Dewey Decimal System or any of the other things that I can correlate it to to make me feel old. You'll copy the provided values into your DNS. If you're a beloved name.com customer, then it'll look like this. And you'll put those values under answer. Once the record has been added, return to the Google Admin Console and check the box stating the code has been updated. Then proceed by clicking Confirm. Once that record is added, it may take up to 48 hours to fully propagate. And that's it. If you're still having problems, you can visit name.com slash support, fill out a support ticket, and one of our amazing support representatives will get back to you with an answer. We also have our 24 seven chat where you can talk to a real person anytime. All right, I'll see you for next video. Bye.